It's true that from a pet professional standpoint, there are many of us that do not like working with German Shepherds. That's because being the number two most popular dog breed in the world, they are constantly being irresponsibly bred by backyard breeders, resulting in dogs with poor temperament and high anxiety. This is Armageddon, and he is five years old. Armageddon's owner is a groomer, and she asked me to groom her dog today, not only because he deserves to be famous, but also to use him as an example of how important it is to research your breeders. While he is a gorgeous dog, and she wouldn't change him for the world, he definitely struggles with things such as allergies that affect his skin, which is a direct result of genetics. A few things to look out for when researching breeders are, make sure their dogs are registered and have health checks and clearance, especially on their joints. Make sure the puppies have health clearance. Ask them how many litters they have a year. Irresponsible breeders will have many breeding females and tons of litters available throughout the year. Do they breed more than one kind of dog? It's generally a big red flag if they have multiple dog breeds available. What are they feeding their dogs? You want to see a kennel feeding high quality food, which ensures they care about the well-being of their dogs and they aren't just money makers. Both parents should be on site and you should be able to meet them. If not on site, you should still be able to meet them. Make sure the parent's temperament is friendly. If you can't meet them, that's a sign that they could be aggressive or they may not even be the breed of dog that you're looking to purchase. Make sure the dog's homes are clean and puppies should not be allowed to go home until they are at least eight weeks old. Your breeder should be able to answer any and all of your questions regarding your breed of choice and they should also have a lot of questions for you. A responsible breeder wouldn't allow one of their puppies to be placed in a home that can't meet the breed requirements. Make sure they have you sign a no breeding contract. Responsible breeders do not want their dogs being used as breeders and they should also have a clause that states that they will take the dog back in the event that you can no longer keep them, preventing their dogs from ending up in shelters. And last but not least, you should also get references from other people who have purchased puppies from this breeder before. Another educational point about Armageddon is that when his owners adopted him, he had very overgrown nails, resulting in deformities of his front paws. Nail trimming is an important part of owning a dog that should not be neglected. Although you may never get the chance to meet this stunning dog, you can tune in to 97.7 Hits FM, where he stars as a regular guest. Good boy. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the adorable Armageddon.